All right, guys, so we're going to pick up where we left off. Uh, we've done some geometry prep. Really, the first thing we want to do is to face off this side of our stock uh, so we have a nice and level face. Um, once we've done that, we're going to flip it over and we'll start roughing and applying different tool paths to this model uh, to cut out this shape. So uh, in this orientation, what we want to do is we want to run the stock wizard again. We're going to choose rectangular. Okay, now I happen to know the stock uh, thickness we're going to use is one and three quarters. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, we want to have the equal uh, equal amounts on either side. So I'm going to just pull up a, a calculator here real quick. Let me see here. All right, so I got a calculator here. So I'm going to take 1.75. Okay. And then I'm going to subtract it from the height which we have currently, which is 1.578. Okay, and this gives me the difference. And then I'm going to divide that by 2. And that gives me 0 0.086. All right. So now in my offset amount for my Z minus, I'm going to make it 0 0.086. And for my Z plus, I'm going to make it 0 0.086. All right. So what that's done is is basically uh, centered the part model in the stock geometry. Okay. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is just grab my origin. I'm going to pick. Um, you know, I'm cutting this on a router, like a tabletop router, so I don't have a tool changer and things like that. Um, you know, I can either zero my spoil board or I can zero the top apart. Uh, you can do it either way. Uh, in this example, I'm going to zero my spoil board, or I'm going to zero the bottom of my part, or where the part is while it's sitting on the table. So I'm going to grab this corner down here, and then I'm going to choose OK. All right, so now in this first setup, I just want to face off the part. So I'm going to load a mill two axis, select geometry. I'm going to right click on this uh, solid edge here, right click, constant Z spacebar next uh, pick bottom the pick bottom is going to be picking on this uh, surface edge here okay next this is a face cycle next all right the tool I'm going to use uh, is a 3 8 you have your speeds and feeds I'm not concerned with that you can dial that in depending on your application um, zigzag on the workpiece uh, 45 percentage step over start over here in this corner uh, no allowance leads is fine and then we'll do some arcs and compute so that's going to give me the face and cycle it's just going to go back and forth over the model and uh, face it out now what I do want to do is I'm going to blank this okay so now I face down to the uh, top of this surface here okay so and I can post out that code if I want I can post it out I can run this through a simulation to see what's going on so no big deal we just faced off the part so now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna create a new setup on the second side here so I'm gonna right click on my machine setup additional functions insert setup I'm going to right click and edit my origin and I'm going to shift, let's see if I can uh, click on origin, shift click on this surface edge and I'm going to pick that point right there. You can, see, you can see Z is facing down so what I want to do is flop the Y direction so I have positive X, positive Y, positive Z and then I'll choose OK. Alright so now we're working on uh, the other side of the part. So in the first setup, we uh, zeroed on the bottom, we faced off the top of the part. In the second setup, we're zeroing on the bottom and uh, we're ready to start working on our roughing routines. Now, you have a, cu a couple of different roughing routines you can utilize. Uh, it's gonna depend on whether you're using the mill professional or mill uh, standard software. Uh, I'm gonna go with the mill uh, standard roughing routine. So. I'm going to right click on this, mill three axis, select geometry, I'm going to choose select all, spacebar, select boundary, 
and then I could select the boundary or I could say in, inside cutting. You have a couple of different options. I'm gonna just select the boundary and I'm gonna right click on this surface edge here and choose constant Z and then spacebar and then next, okay? Um, for my tool, I'm gonna use the same tool. All right, let me go to my machining strategies. These, these are all the different strategies. Standard, uh, the standard package offers Z-level rough, Z-level finish, planar, spiral, radial, plunge roughing. Um, really, we could use a Z-level rough or we could use a slice planer to rough this out. Um, in our professional tool paths, you have advanced rough, uh, so we could use advanced rough, we could use advanced planer. Uh, really, it's just gonna depend on how you wanna go about machining this. Uh, there's definitely advantages and, and more options in the professional tool paths, but there's a certain amount of simplicity in the standard tool paths. So that's a preference. Um, in this case, we're gonna use a Z-level rough. Next, we have our tool set up. Our pattern is gonna be pocket out. We can do that. Um, step down uh, depth of cut so we're gonna say 125 uh, step over we're gonna say uh, you know a little greater than uh, uh, half the cutter okay stock for finish this is an XYZ amount so we're gonna leave uh, some stock for our finish pass maybe we'll bump it up and then our tolerance this is how accurate the cut is we're gonna drop it down because we're just roughing and then uh, leads we're gonna say go ahead and plunge and then there's some other options here as far as uh, we're, we use the boundary so we don't have to say innermost or outermost and then processing by area is just fine uh, we will go ahead and compute now and this will generate really a 3d pocket uh, that's gonna remove uh, most of the material uh, between that boundary and the model that we're working with. So you can see here's the roughing routine and it's just gonna come down uh, kind of, like I said, like a pocket, except the difference is when, we, uh, when we're using this, uh, you know, as it encounters the model, it's gonna uh, stay away from that. So this is, again, a, a, a catch-all. We're just roughing this out, removing uh, the majority of the material, again, I didn't put tabs all the way around, but where I did put this tab, you can see how the toolpath avoided that. So we'll have material left there holding the material, uh, holding our part down. Uh, if you're not using tabs, you could have bolted to a spoil board. Again, it just depends uh, on your setup and how you're going to accomplish that. Uh, for this video, I'm going to run this through a simulation so we can see what it looks like with two different setups. And then in uh, the next video, we'll talk about some of the additional strategies we have for uh, machining this guitar uh, next. So we'll load up simulation. From here, you know, some users have machine simulation, some don't. Uh, if the machine, uh, in my case, I can show the machine I'm working on, but I'm just gonna uh, focus on my workpiece. This is gonna show the facing cycle. And then once it's done, if you notice, it just flips over and it starts working on the other side. Okay, so let me rewind that real quick. So when we're in this orientation, I have all of my operation lists here. So when it's done with the first routine, it's just gonna go to the flip and start working on the other side, okay? So you can see a transition point between it, but we would really post these out separately or use different work offsets. So um, now that we're into the second routine, this is the roughing. And again, it's like a 3D pocket and it's just gonna rough out the material between uh, you know, the boundary and where our model was. We can speed this up a little bit and you can see how uh, it's just removing the bulk of the material as it gets down to the bottom. You'll also notice our tab is left. Uh, so we threw that tab in there, so that's holding that down. Uh, you can see the steps that are left. This is from uh, our step down amount. I think we used uh, eighth inch. Uh, if you want less steps, you can use a smaller step. Uh, but again, we're gonna come back and do some semi-finishing and finishing, and we'll pick that up in the next video, guys. Thank you so much. See you then.